Is it cool that a giant flying robot balloon can maneuver in the air autonomously thanks to its ring of propellers and GPS? And it can find objects that it needs to deliver, in this case, your drink in a bottle, and it swoops down to said object and picks it up? Yes, that's cool. It's how it picks up that bottle that's... I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to watch uh, for some reason. It quite literally lowers itself down onto the object and s slides it into its receptacle, kind of like pushing an Audi belly button inward. <laughs> and then when it flies over to you, it expels the bottle directly into your hand. And by the way, this is what audio listeners get when they ask us to describe what we see in video. So you asked for it, everyone. Now, I'm not sure how widespread the Festo delivery drone will be. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to ever meet one either. This is one robot I don't think I ever need to meet. Uh, I think <laughs> if it met, like, the Hyperloop, that would be awesome. Like, if that could deliver people, it could yeah. suck me up into its balloon and deliver yeah. me somewhere. <laughs> that would be wonderful. This is so weird. I, I have to say, I watched that and was just like, <laughs> paging Dr. Freud, Dr. Freud, <laughs> go to see phone, please. It's, um, it's, it's rather unnerving and, and sort of was a... A, sort of a cross between something deeply pervy and something out of the <laughs> aliens films. Uh, I, the only thing I would say, after having watched the video a couple of times, that thing looks like it's, it would last about five seconds outside a very large building. I mean, if you actually took it outside, you know, large blimps are a really good idea in a lot of circumstances, but they don't deal with wind well. And particularly in yeah. this country, they don't deal with people with pellet guns well. So I think if they actually did try and use that outside, it would either get shot down or get blown into the side of a building and deflate rapidly. And if you're using that inside, you need a lot of space. That thing's big. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it has but to be to provide the lift. Yeah. But I mean, it's like, they, it's like oh, great. It can, it can hand me a, a glass, a bottle, a bottle of water. It's like, well, guess what? I've got legs, two hands. Pretty much sure oh. I've got that one sorted myself, thanks. Uh, I mean, look at that. I'm sorry. Just, it's oh. just yeah, yeah. It's weird. Uh, we should thank Tech Insider, um, which is basically filled with stories like this every day. <laughs> and it's just why I love it so much. <laughs> there's there's something neat about it when it's flying. It's just I don't like how it picks up bottles and gives them to you. I don't like that. That's, that's it is nice. weird that the, the, the two men on this show are more freaked out about this than, by, than Megan is. I mean, yeah. it's just like I'm wondering Ooh. whether this is some kind of male psychological <laughs> thing, which is just like. Tapping into the reptile brain cell of a uh, I think it is. No. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've given birth to three children two at <laughs> once. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> I'll always play that card when given the opportunity. <laughs> yeah, well, you've trumped us on that one. Pretty, no comment. I'm sure neither Jason nor myself nope. have given birth to children and have no intention of doing so. <laughs>